bastard. So that was just a dream, I guess. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. <sighs> I dreamt of Kermor. Started in the guest room at Kermoran. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me. Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. Then we trained with Kiri. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Yeah. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Time to go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing Vizima. else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Vizima from which one? Stuffed unicorn. What? <laughs> That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Nice sunset or oh, sunrise Wait, even. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. A ghouls. Right. Set. Take this. Deal the smack down! Come on, stop running!
take that. That then. Adrenaline points. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Mm -hmm. Consumable slots during combat press R or F to consume them. Press R now to eat. Right? Loot. Sure. Loot. Take all. Might as well take it all. Everything about this sorcerer I knew couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Right. Because you can't. can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Go, go. Left ship to gallop. More is not well, exactly going I'm on. Already right. doing that. We have a side. The northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore mm -hmm. the old stamina. Lands. So where's that? Wins the war. Believe that. Can't but see that. I guess. Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Oh, this game looks so nice. Very nice graphics. Almost too good graphics. Can't run it on ultra. It's too much. Can run it on high though. It's on high right now. It's high, man. Where roof? Uh, no, that's not a werewolf. That's a uh, griffin, I think, isn't it? Vesemir! No! No! Don't take the horse! No! Bastard! Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. <laughs> nice hair. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Ah, you don't owe us anything. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yeah, a woman. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. <laughs> 
What's he got to say? Greetings. Nothing. Greetings. Nothing. Faster. Backspace to open the menu. So, a griffin this close to the village. Strange. I Left shift exactly. without steering the to automatically to follow its path. Here? Come on now. Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. That drives monsters doesn't crazy really seem sometimes. to help. Men too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave not as soon to... as we learn anything. Notice boards. Yeah, know about that. Ah! Hey. <laughs> yep. Too far. <laughs> Just sticking my head through the roof, no problem. No problem. Just sticking my head through the roof. How rude. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. Rude man. Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilf God now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. You want me to kick your ass instead, then? Beg your pardon hmm? for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? What can I get, Joe? Um. Where the fuck did my mouse go? Oh. Options mark. Yellow will open. Wait. Oh. Oh, that one. Okay. Looking for a Looking woman. For a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Cool. We'll end the conversation. Pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Contract on the Griffin? Is there a contract on that Griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Hmm. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, it seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Not for free. Nope. Not for free. What you got? Show me what you got behind the counter. Buy and sell items. Yep. 
you. Without getting an item to purchase it, sure. Escape to close the shop panel, sure. So, we have 168, I guess. Huh. What do you want? Pepper vodka. Used an alchemy. Used an alchemy. Alchemy, alchemy. Alchemy. What's this? Dragon Hunter. Ranged combat. Hmm. Cards. What the fuck? Hmm. Interesting. What's this water? Water's always good. How much is that? Forty two? No? Yes, forty two. Well I ain't got money for that. Clear stats. Don't really have any. Let's get out of here then. Until we get some cash. Thanks. For everything. What now? What now? Can't Can't be that wound, that maybe? Please. Yes. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Yeah. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Ask yeah, travelers. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cop. I'm looking for someone. But we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Bastard. This man's causing them to act according to your will. Hmm. That sounds nice. Let's do that. Great woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. <laughs> Lots of tracks leading off the main so road. Awesome. Could have gone anywhere. Just Boy, to force people, people to the see. Freak's taken Micah's mind. Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up, dude. So, let me start. More. There are four factions. Stop four? These guys. Fat, what a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. 
Чего? Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that hmm. to the people whose houses burned down. Yeah. War we'll make it to Novigrad yet. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm-hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So Just a question a of time. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. So I guess it's a card game. Sure, let's try it out. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. It's two armies. Right? You draw ten cards, this will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards to use these wisely. Right? This is a unicard. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total of strength of the player who placed it. This icon indicates the row of the battlefield where the card can be played. So it's siege combat, that one. Some unicards have special abilities. This Kateween is siege expert. Special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of given type on the battlefield, including your own. Start of game, you select up to two cards, discard and redraw. S skip that for now and go straight to play. That looks a bit like Triss. Here's the battlefield, this is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, the player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the ability, special ability at any point by person X. Press enter to select a card from your hand. Press enter again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn. Right. We don't have any uh, mana or anything that determines on what we can put out. No? So, this is actually characters in the game. Or what? Because this looks like Triss and this looks like. Can't remember his name, but he's in the first game. Hmm. What shall we, what shall we put out? Let's start with an easy little card. Yes, enter. The number on the left by icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player within 
with the highest total strength wins. Alright. During your turn you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the unit you already have in play or let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. A round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength and determine the winner. All the cards in the battlefield are discarded. Total strength is reset to zero. Right? So he wins because he put a two out. No? Not yet? So... Right. Let's put him out. Fine. And I'll just... Hmm... Yeah... Don't remember what the hell this does. Let's try it. What does it... Uh... Siege combat cards, okay. So we won't do that. And this is... Sword... No? Yes? Close combat, yes. So... Let's put her out. Yes, that's not Triss. But looks a bit like her. A little bit, at least. Yes, apply. No? No. Leak. That bastard continues. Bastard. Just put your siege down. What an asshole. What an asshole. What a total bastard. Put this one down. Right. I'm not really sure how this works. We just go until we don't have any cards left. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this guy out then. Well, I'm winning. So, fuck him. Well, I would lose more from that, wouldn't I? Maybe I wouldn't. No, we would have exactly the same. So, actually, that's a bad idea for me. This is... Siege. So that would only hurt me as well. And I'm just gonna put that out. Yeah, it's my turn, but can't really do.
do much. So... Still winning though. Guess I'm just gonna pass. How many cards do he have? The player who loses a round also loses a gym. The game is over once the player lost both gyms. Right. So I won that one. We get new cards, right? Only one card. Come on. Really? Did he pass already? Right? Then I'm just gonna win. If he's just passing. No? Pass? Yay! That was fucking easy. <laughs> that was ridiculously easy. But yeah, in case it's the first time, so I just gotta learn. There's no shame in passing and letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for the later. Yeah. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from the vendors. Cool. Escape. Well. You've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. So it's like the first game with the dice. The dwarven dice. Cool. Sultan Chivi. Exactly the one that... that teaches us to play dice kitty hey kitty kitty why run away kitty oh kitty cute little kitty oh, also known as pussy but personally I prefer kitty 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 yeah, but anyways, I think I'll end it here and uh, continue next time with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, yeah, hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you liked it and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of course and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!